As you guys can see, Erin's starving right now. <laughs> Look at her, you know? We're actually uh, going back to my old job real quick. I'm showing up with a bunch of donuts for everybody. I called the company that I used to work for and uh, I needed to borrow a tool for the crimping of the cables. And luckily they said come by and use it real quick. Can you share this today? No, no, I'm not sure if this is the right place or not. This is kind of ridiculous. They usually have trailers and stuff. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I found it. This truck's right here. Hey, nobody's here. <laughs> this is definitely their office though. Hey dude, I'm in your barn, man. <laughs> Alright, bye. What's up? How's it going? So we got our four out welding cable. This is what's gonna actually attach to our batteries. We're gonna take our high press crimp with our high press and crimp everything. I came by here because in order for me to buy one of these, it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So I call my old company up, came by, they're gonna let me use theirs real quick. And uh, it's a nice little freebie. So today we are going to be starting by wiring all of the lightning arresters and then Josh is going to go through and make all of the terminations for both the charge controllers and the inverter. Last time he went through and got everything bonded and I have to say that there's a lot of really awesome things about being married to Josh but one of them is definitely the patience that he has when it comes to teaching me about all of this stuff because I know nothing but after getting to spend time with him and watching him do his thing like I actually feel like I'm starting to understand some things. My head hurts at the end of the day but uh, I'm actually enjoying it and liking it so it's kind of fun. You doing? <laughs> <laughs> Once I'm done bonding the midnight solar box, I'm gonna go back, pull wire from the charge controllers, and start wiring up the inverter.
So we have the negative wire tied into charge controller three. It comes through, has the negative bus back here in the back side of this uh, inverter. We're gonna go ahead and do all the negatives first because it's in the back corner. And if we start doing the positives as we go, it's gonna block access. So once we get the negatives done, we'll start the positives. So we're getting ready to call it a night because it is getting a little bit late and I think that I've just about absorbed all the information I can absorb. But first, Josh has this crimping tool right here. It's not for his beard hair. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's for one aught and smaller. So he is going to rock out the crimping and then we're going to go to bed. Right? Right. So the charge controllers are wired up and finished. We are actually, these are done, done. Nah, not quite done. I still got some level to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
go over real quick how this all works. So you see right here, you have your PV positive, negative. That's your uh, solar array or your panels. They come in, positive ties in, your negative comes in. We have our lightning arrestor also coming right here. My negative, my positive. And then on these two, it goes from 420 volts and it comes out and down to around 54 volts to charge in our batteries. So it comes down right here off the battery terminals, comes on over. I'm actually, this guy right here actually goes up, ties into the top of this 100 amp breaker. And then from the bottom of the breaker, it ties into the bus bar for the inverter. That's just charge controller three is wired up that way only. Uh, because I don't have enough space for two more breakers in here. So we actually have a midnight solar box mounted right there. That goes to charge controller one and two. It's all the same exact thing, the way the panels come in and get wired up, but it comes, my negative comes off and goes in, goes directly to the inverter. Our positive comes down, comes around, comes up to the breaker in our midnight solar box. It comes in, comes back out, comes down, comes back through. It ties directly to our bus on our positive right here. Um, charge controller one's exact same way as that one. So they come to the positive bus right here and it goes to a breaker. It's all bolted together. A breaker goes out here, turn on right there, turns on the inverter. Um, we have nothing's turned on now. The solar array is not connected. The batteries are obviously not connected. The batteries will have wires coming through and they're gonna tie into the bus bars. So once we get that connected, we'll turn everything on. Well, it's day 100 of working in the powerhouse. It's day three. <laughs> Let's hop first that ground because the ground that goes to the ground lines is now too short because that got moved over that way. So it's too short. So we're going to high press that guy back together. Um, we'll connect it, bring the wires up from this panel, tie those guys in, not tie him in yet because we're still on generator, but this stuff can get done. Tie in from our AC load to the breaker and uh, get it all wired up. Once that's said and done, we can close this guy back up because it's done. And uh, all we got to do after that is put the battery cables on, run some uh, low voltage through there, and then make some connections, wire a few things up, hit a couple buttons, punch a couple numbers in, and uh, wham we got power. What do you think? <laughs> Call me when it's done, okay? <laughs> ah! <That's cool. laughs> That scare that you? <laughs> let, me, let me turn it on the other side. <laughs> Not funny. Please. 
sign it? I did. <sighs> <laughs> so. Oh, I'm still waiting to figure out if you're serious or not. Oh, I am serious. Okay. So we found. So we have a small, we have a small issue. We actually knew the issue was an issue, so it's not a big deal. We actually prepped for the issue. <laughs> So tell us more about the issue. Oh, Josh. geez. It's not really an issue. <laughs> Obviously, cause we, we planned for it, so it's not really an issue, right? <laughs> Boy, is my face getting red. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the ground wire goes to the ground rods. We move the inverter about a foot and a half, two feet that way. So, the ground, the wire that goes to the ground rods is too short. So, we bought a high press lug, we'll butt splice it, we've got, got some extra number six wire, so we'll crimp it all together tie it in and then all that stuff is inside the inverter is done the last two things we do have to do is connect the battery cables to go to the bus bars outside of the inverter and also all the zam bus wire that goes from inverter to charge controller so on and so forth it just ties everything together so they all talk to each other cool no issue no issues <laughs> none Uh, let's put this top cover on because we're actually done up there. Um, we'll take care of this when that disc all gets closed up. The Zan bus. your beard talking to us? It's a cat. Come on, Zen. Thanks, Alright, pull the Zan bus, Josh. Should I explain what we're doing or no? No. You, you plug it in and you go. It's plug and go. <laughs> hey, cat. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Alright. <laughs> what the hell just happened here? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Maybe I should just give her the camera. The next Take step. Five. <laughs> <laughs> so the next step, we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect these uh, battery cables real quick. I actually had these high press or got these high press at my old company. Thank you guys, I appreciate you. So now let's go back through and uh, connect these guys. for now. 